from not having enough money to keep the game running, to licensing issues so intense the game had to shut down. This is the notorious game killer, Asymmetrical Horror. It all started on the 11th of February 2015. The game Evolve was set to release, being one of the first modern asymmetrical horror games. It garnered a lot of attention for its 4 best one Hunter Monster gameplay. The game released and its reputation will be damaged forever. Evolve was already charging players for every cosmetic, character and monster available. And players were not happy with this, as first impressions are always key to a game's longevity. <coughs> this hurt the game a lot, cutting off at least 50% or more of the game's potential growth at the time. Players also found the gameplay to get tedious at times, with the game design being a large part of this. Good balancing and matchmaking was a necessity for good gameplay in Evolve, so any small skill difference could ruin a match entirely. The possibility of having a teammate or opponent who wasn't as skilled as you each game was just too risky, and many people had bad experiences due to this. So of course at times Evolve could be lots of fun with your friends or with good matchmaking. A few months after release, the game started to already notice a steady decline in their player base. Already less people were purchasing and playing Evolve. Then a year later in June, the game went free to play, which garnered some traction, although got nowhere in the end. Due to the game's prior impressions and that the studio's primary funder, 2K, cut off their support after the game's initial decline, Evolve just continued to die. And again, the game would have had a chance to make a comeback with regular updates and additions, but that initial impression and cut support was basically a death sentence. Luckily it's not all unfortunate news, as Evolve gave inspiration to other development studios to experiment themselves with the subgenre. And then on the 14th of June 2016, we would see the release of Dead by Daylight, and this changed everything. But I'll get back to that later. February 2016. The independent video game studio Ilphonic is in the works of developing an official Friday 13th game alongside Gun Media, which too would be an asymmetrical horror game. More than a year passes and the date is now May 26th. The game releases, and everyone loves it. There were a few initial bugs and glitches, though with time they were patched. The game featured similar to Evolve, a 4v1 scenario, though having four counselors versus Jason Voorhees at Camp Crystal Lake, with the goal for Jason to kill everyone, whilst the counselors try to either escape or kill Jason, but that's more difficult. Instantly blowing up and gaining a great reputation. Though as time went on there began to be more hackers, people abusing mechanics, and the game's playbase overall started to decline. This wasn't anything out of the ordinary though, but it was in November of 2020 when the game met a harsh reality. Due to licensing issues with the Friday the 13th franchise creator, Victor Miller, the game's servers were brutally shut down with the game scheduled to be delisted at the end of this year. Many fans of the game and franchise were understandably annoyed by this, though with friends you could still play local matchmaking. But in other words, the game was doomed. From this video's upload date, the game will be delisted in a few weeks unfortunately. Though, at least players got to experience the game before it went downhill. Sadly, I can't say the same for the next game. On the 18th of December 2018, a Discord exclusive called Last Year was released. This asymmetrical horror game featured an eerie school map in where you and four other classmates work to complete objectives and escape your school, all whilst the killer is trying their best to kill you one by one. Though what made this game especially unique was its class system, where you can choose to be a medic, technician, scout or assault, with each class holding their own unique benefits. But aside from that, the game basically feels like Dead by Daylight. But either way, it's pretty fun. Though unfortunately for last year, the developers made a decision which would change the game's course forever. Upon release, Elastic Games made a contract with Discord for last year to be released exclusively on their platform for 90 days. And it was a failure. Due to no one really using the Discord marketplace, especially in 2018, no one really bought the game. And then by the time it reached Steam, all the hype had already died down. After this fatal decision, the developers started to slow down on content and updates, eventually letting the game just die out. Though at least this game had some marketing compared to the next game. On the 8th of April 2017, a game called White Noise 2 would be released out of nowhere. The game had a trailer up on YouTube though nothing else was said or advertised at the time. Unfortunately, the game barely got any players due to this, in turn for how much hard work and dedication was put in, with the game's highest player peak ever being at 162. The game's a 4 vs 1 asymmetrical horror, in where you either play as an investigator looking for clues, or a creature trying to devour the investigators. Though, forgetting the playbase for a second, the gameplay was actually unique and lots of fun. Though, then again, it never got big enough to hold a stable player base. Unlike the next game, which actually shined in the light for a while. Well, that's until they ran out of funds to keep the lights on. 
Video Horror Society, or VHS, being released on the 18th of July last year, players instantly fell in love with the 80s themed 4 vs 1 action game. It was unique and something to be excited about, with the monster's goal being to down all the players, whilst the teenagers try to craft their weapons and destroy the monster's 4 stigmas, which are basically different states of health, with each player being able to destroy one stigma. June 10th, 2023. Hellbent Studios tweets out about their current circumstances with the game, stating that they have not been able to find the commercial success needed to keep the game running. And so, on the 8th of September, the game was removed from all platforms, leaving yet another hole in our beloved subgenre. But unfortunately, it doesn't stop there. May 13, 2022. Evil Dead released, yet another promising asymmetrical horror which was based off a franchise. Evil Dead's gameplay was quite unique and had many interesting features compared to other titles, and players loved it. Having the same 4v1 scenario, but instead of playing a monster, you play as a supernatural entity who can possess players and things around them, set off traps, trigger enemies to spawn, and much more. No wonder the game was so favoured, though that didn't last long. September 19th, 2023. Saber Interactive would announce that, today we've made the decision not to pursue the development of new content for Evil Dead the game. We will keep the servers up for the foreseeable future and address any major issues that arise. Aside from Dead by Daylight, this was the only other game that really looked as if it was in for the long haul. Hence, when players found this out, the reviews spoke for themselves. A lot of yapping and not a lot of happening. I despise devs like this, they are terrible human beings. And avoid this game like you would an STD. This subgenre has seen a lot of failure over the years, and it seems to mostly be due to monetization issues and trouble keeping the games running. But where does Asymmetrical Horror stand today? Well, it seems to be holding up just fine. Back to Dead by Daylight. This is one of the games which has been carrying the subgenre since 2016. It's also been posing as the standard for asymmetrical horror games to follow, which is good and all until games start to take too much inspiration. But what has made Dead by Daylight the standard? Well, the game has been doing a lot right over the years. The developers have been consistently listening to their community, implementing regular content, updates, and even getting insane licenses for their game. I mean, what game can you play that has Freddy Krueger, Ghostface, and Chucky all in one? If anything, the game has been slowly getting larger and more powerful over the years. Though, we also have one more game which is currently taking players by storm. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Releasing only a few months ago, Sumo Digital has already impressed players with their take on the franchise. The game's graphics and gameplay is just insane. Who wouldn't want to play a game that feels like a literal movie? And then, what about the future of asymmetrical horror? Well, we can't know how the genre will be holding up. What we do know is that we'll be getting two brand new titles. The first being Killer Clowns from Outer Space, another blood franchise turned into an asymmetrical horror game, developed by the same people who created Friday 13th, the game, Ilphonic. Though, hopefully this time there won't be any licensing issues. The game's trailer looks promising, but we'll have to wait until 2024 to find out how good the game really is. The second being Carnival Hunt, the 4 vs 1 asymmetrical horror game that features eerie carnival themed maps and scenarios. The game has one player as the carnival monster, while the others are wind-up bunnies. I know it sounds a bit weird. The gameplay mechanics from what we've seen so far though, look incredibly unique and interesting to use. The game is right around the corner, so we should be able to check it out soon. But will these games even survive? I honestly don't know. So many asymmetrical horror games end up in ruins. While they can be heaps of fun and give us great memories, something always goes wrong. Though hopefully future games won't make the same mistakes. I know for a fact if you go onto Carnival Hunt's Kickstarter page, they talk about the past and how they're aiming to avoid this. Anyway, thanks for watching until the end. If you enjoyed, be sure to smash that like button. Peace.